Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we'll be discussing Dumbledore, Tom Riddle, and how Dumbledore first became familiar with the powerful young boy in the orphanage. In one scene in The Half-Blood Prince, Harry visits Dumbledore in his quarters. Dumbledore then directs Harry towards his pensive, a magical object which is used to review memories. Harry begins to use the pensive and explores Dumbledore's memories. He's then suddenly taken back to the year 1938, when a young-ish Dumbledore is shown visiting a very troubled-looking boy, sitting alone in the room of an orphanage. During Dumbledore's visit to the orphanage, he reveals to the boy that he is a wizard, and subsequently shows him an impressive display of magical ability. Riddle is in awe, and shortly after this moment, Dumbledore invites him to Hogwarts. Tom Riddle was of course a terrifying, hostile child who tormented the other orphans, but this was not something that Dumbledore knew about until later on. It also didn't matter. He wouldn't be denied entry to Hogwarts because of this. Everyone deserves a chance. After Riddle began attending the school, Dumbledore researched Riddle and became more familiar with his existence. However, he was still mostly unaware of his dark nature. This begs the question, how did Dumbledore find Riddle in the first place? He was just an orphan. To begin to answer this question, we need to look at the Quill of Acceptance and the Book of Admittance. Pottermore states the following, In a small locked tower, never visited by any student at Hogwarts, sits an ancient book that has not been touched by human hands since the four founders placed it there on completion of the castle. Beside the book, which is bound in peeling black dragonhide, stands a small silver ink pot, and from this protrudes a long faded quill. These are the quill of acceptance and the book of admittance, and they constitute the only process by which students are selected for Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The book and quill were put in place by the founders of Hogwarts to aid with and automate the Hogwarts selection process. One of the main parameters put in place for detecting students is as follows. At the precise moment that a child first exhibits signs of magic, the quill, which is believed to have been taken from an augury, floats up out of his ink pot and attempts to inscribe the name of that child upon the pages of the book. This means that as soon as a child shows any form of magic, it is immediately set in writing that they are a magical being. No child would be able to perform magic, undetected, without this magical book and quill taking note of it. What this means is that while Riddle was in the orphanage, he must have performed magic, effectively putting him on their radar. One common misconception about children showing initial signs of magic is that the Ministry is alerted. Once a child has the trace applied to them, the Ministry will know about any sort of magical activity that they engage in. But before they're registered, the Hogwarts headmaster is the first to know, as he is the one with the immediate access to the Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance. The headmaster of Hogwarts at the time was not Dumbledore, but Armando Dippet, who presided as headmaster until sometime between 1965 and 1971. Dumbledore was deputy headmaster and the transfiguration professor at Hogwarts during this time. Because of Dumbledore's role, he carried out responsibilities similar to McGonagall, and would aid in informing children's parents of their child's admittance to Hogwarts. Dumbledore learned of Riddle's existence sometime between his initial inscription inside of the Book of Admittance and the day that he turned 11 years old. While it's suggested that Dumbledore knew nothing of Riddle originally, I sincerely doubt that. Dumbledore is an incredibly intelligent and studious individual, and I have no doubt that he did at least some form of intensive research on Riddle before his initial visit. He may not have known about the extent of his dark nature or the truly destructive power that he possessed, but I'm sure that he knew at least a little bit about his background and heritage. After Harry is finished with the pensive, he has the following exchange with Dumbledore. Did you know, sir? Then? Did I know that I had just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Until next time, you're Wizard Harry! <laughs>